Golf course designer Jack Fleming's name isn't in bright lights like Tom Fazio or Jack Nicklaus, but there's no questioning his legacy in the Golden State and Northern California region. During his time, Jack, who passed away in 1986, designed, remodeled, or restored around 60 courses in California, all the result of what some might call fate. Born in County Galway, Ireland, Jack had immigrated to England to study landscaping and civil engineering. In 1918, he was working on a project in Manchester that included a golf course, when, while relaxing at a pub, he happened to meet Dr. Alistair McKenzie over a game of darts. The two hit it off so much so that Jack became a clerical worker for McKenzie. Not much later, Jack transitioned to golf. When McKenzie left for California, why Jack came with him. The two would work together until McKenzie's death in 1934. Dr. McKenzie and I both believe that golf courses should be designed with two things in mind, Fleming once said. First, that every shot should be laid out so that the golfer must use his head and think. Second, the architect should make use of the terrain upon which the course is built. One of the duo's first projects in California was a place called Cypress Point. Fleming also assisted McKenzie at Pasa Tiempo and the Valley Club of Montecito. While Fleming did not go to Augusta National to help McKenzie there, he did collaborate on plans. The good Dr. McKenzie, with an eye on the upcoming Great Depression, wanted to help Fleming so much that he suggested Fleming work for the city and county of San Francisco. Fleming accepted, becoming the steward for Sharp Park, Lincoln Park, and Harding Park where a nine-hole course is named for him. Despite working for the city, Jack, often donned in a dress shirt and his trademark white Panama hat, continued designing other courses in the NorCal region. Between 1950 and 1967, he drew up plans for 36 courses in Northern California, including Sharon Heights, the club at Crazy Horse Ranch, Sierra View, Swenson Park, Dry Creek, and Spring Creek. Later, Jack's influence extended to his son, John, who worked alongside his father for eight years and later became the superintendent at the Olympic Club. The relationship between Jack and McKenzie, who was inducted into the NCGA Hall of Fame in 2017, was so special that Jack served as a pallbearer at McKenzie's funeral. And it all began over a game of darts. While McKenzie left his own marks, Fleming also left a legacy in Northern California golf, one we can all be very thankful for. Growing up as a San Francisco golfer, we were always proud of the fact that he was very involved with our public golf courses, Hardy, McLaren Park, Mount Glen Eagles, uh, uh, Sharp Park, uh, and, and we were very proud of that. And I think that being able to play those golf courses with his name uh, meant an awful lot to us. I think one of the best things that he was known for was his short courses. The ability to make these really fun nine hole par threes, nine hole short courses, um, which frankly, I think golf needs to get back to and, and enjoy some of that again. So I have the utmost respect for Mr. Fleming. Great guy, um, super involved in, in making Northern California golf what it is. The NCGA is proud and honored to induct Jack Fleming into its Hall of Fame.